welcome back to my channel my name is Stephanie if you are new here today I am going to take you along with me to check out all the new fall stuff that is on sale 40% off at Hobby Lobby that probably isn't too great for the budget but they are having some sales and I do have some gift cards that I received for my birthday 50 like $50 I think I have on there I'm just gonna show you some clips of things that I would like to purchase if I had an unlimited budget <laughs> When we come back, I'll show you what I actually picked up. If you are looking for pumpkins of any size, shape, or color, you will not be disappointed. Hobby Lobby had so many pumpkins to choose from. It was crazy. Also, they had 40% uh, off on their fall floral stems. They had many different kinds and colors to choose from. There's so many choices. If you're like me, it's kind of hard to decide what you want because, I mean, look at all of these such beautiful colors the deep burnt oranges and mustard yellows and look at these cute pom-poms I really like those and those they have berries I don't know what these are called but they're kind of cool <laughs> I'm not sure what you would do with those now these cattails I was very tempted to pick those up they're so pretty So while the fall florals are 40% off, if you are on a tight budget and you want to save a little more money, consider going with the 50% off regular florals because they also have some fall colors in those that you can make a beautiful arrangement out of. Now, take in mind you do need to look at the original price because they have some that are higher priced so you wouldn't come out ahead choosing those, but they do have some that are a good price and with 50% off, it would save you money going this route over the fall florals, if that makes any sense. They had cream colors and oranges. I really liked these. I almost picked those up. I thought those were so pretty. These are coming off a little different color than they were in person. They were a pretty um, deep orange. And of course they had displays in the aisles with scarecrows and pumpkins and florals. Here they have 50% off their candles and their waxes. I did pick a few of these up. They smelled so good. I particularly liked it. Liked it. <laughs> I particularly liked the roasted pumpkin scent. They have a few things that I do remember seeing last year. Some of the signs are the same as they were. These were cute. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> this is a sign that I wanted last year, but I just don't have room, a wall space for it. I wish I did because it's so cute. But the one on the end is my favorite. It has the copper tones in it. Oh, it's so pretty. The copper doesn't really show up on camera, but in person, it's beautiful. These little fall signs were cute. And I like these ceramic pumpkins with the cutouts. There's so much cute stuff in here. I just want it all. <laughs> I want to buy all the things. I really love these pumpkins with the spice latte. And then they have a white one um, that has pumpkin pie recipe. But they are so expensive. Like, even with the 40% off, it's just more than I want to pay for a pumpkin. These are like ceramic. If you're looking for a white pitcher, you might want to consider these since they're 40% off of 1999. That's that's a pretty good price. They would be pretty on a like your kitchen table with some of those fall florals in them. That would be beautiful. Okay, so we are about to get into the pumpkin aisle, guys. I'm telling you, <laughs> they have so many kind of pumpkins. It's it's 
pretty crazy. These were like a felt kind of material. Here you have some cheetah print pumpkins. There's purple pumpkins and blue pumpkins and green and just uh, all the colors. I really didn't care for these felt ones, but now this pillow. I really like this pillow. That is 28 bucks. Now, they had a lot of leather. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but they had a good selection of leather. And if you're into, like, boho, I think this would look really good in your home. I personally really liked it. I thought it was cool, especially these bigger ones. They got this camel color and then this darker brown color. I'm, I'm kind of here for it. I think it's cool. Again, these felt ones, I'm just not feeling. Like, these are just weird to me. I don't, I don't like them at all. I really like this with the leather thankful on it and the little brass details on the sides. That's really cute. They had some of these fabric pumpkins with the little stripes on them that were really neat. I just don't like the the stem those plastic stems they just they really throw it off for me I don't like those at all here's the obligatory bag of white pumpkins that everybody buys if you're into the green or the teal pumpkins they had plenty of those to go around $3.99 plus 40% off that's really not bad these were a good price for these little pumpkins and they they weren't super tiny they would be good you know to put on a shelf or something I liked this three stack I almost got this but the bottom pumpkin was I don't know the orange color just was a little off to me I would like I would have liked it to be a lighter color orange here's a kitchen mat this thankful sign was really cute it would be pretty in a kitchen any time of year. And actually, you could make that yourself with a Cricut if you have one. You can make a lot of this stuff. I really liked the um, this one uh, this one with the October on it. I really liked that one. And I like this one. And 20 bucks. This one wasn't really... These aren't really that bad of a price. And it's a decent size sign. If you have a space for it, I just don't have a space for it, and I really am sad about it. If you're having friends giving, this would be really cute to decorate with. I really like this little banner. And then I the I'm not loving the colors on this, but I really like the saying here. It says fall for Jesus, he never leaves you. Amen. Now we are going to get into the aisle with all of the different kinds of picks. I know I am not in the majority here, but I am just not a fan of all the floral picks. I just don't think they look realistic. There were a couple that I liked. The first one that I showed you, I liked that one. It was more of a natural look, but some of them are just, I don't know, they're just odd to me. Those were kind of pretty. Yeah, I didn't, I picked up a few um, towards the end that were like a mustardy color that I really liked. That one, I like that one. I don't love the brown on it though. You could always paint the pumpkin a different color though if you like the stem and just don't like the color. Here are some fall wreaths you can get to put on your door. I think the wreaths are expensive myself. But they do have several to choose from. Different colors. We've got lots of different table runners here and placemats and I cannot begin to tell you how much I like these little plates with these little teal trucks on them. They are so cute. 
I didn't really care for like the trays or any of the other things. I just really liked the plates. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but the plates were so cute. You know, it kind of my great grandfather had a teal old truck like that, and maybe that's why I always like them so much. If you are into buffalo tech, buffalo plaid, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Here you go. You have a plethora of it. This was really cute. Oh, good gravy. I really like that. If you need some mugs, here's some Ray Dunn's kind of style mugs. This is really cute. I like the plaid and it says grateful on it. I've been looking for something like this to put on my kitchen counter with dish soap in it and a lotion. pumpkins were really cool and unique. I hadn't seen any like this before. They're like flat on one side, but geez, they're $30. I have got to stay out of that place. Two bags of stuff, y'all. All right, guys, let's dig in. First of all, they had their um, candles and their candle waxes on um, sale for 50% off. So I picked up several um, of the wax melts. I'm trying to see if there's a brand. Darcy and David is the name brand of these. But they're originally $2.99. I got them 50% off, so they were $1.50 each, which I think is a pretty good deal. You know, I'm not going to find them much cheaper than that that I know of. So I looked for the fall scents. It's, this one is Roasted Pumpkin. And it says grilled harvest pumpkin with charred firewood and red ginger. We'll see, won't we? Oh my gosh. If I were to close my eyes and imagine what fall would smell like, it would absolutely be this. The sun is changing outside. It's a cloudy day, so it's going to... The, sorry if the colors and the light changes. This one's this one's excellent. I highly recommend this one. And then the other fall one I got, which well, it's not really fall actually. This is kind of more like Christmas, but it's gingerbread. It says fresh baked gingerbread. And it smells like Christmas. Actually, it kind of it kind of reminds me of like an oatmeal raisin cookie smell. It smells really good. It's one of those when you're going to walk in the door and you've been gone for a while and you, the scent hits you in the face and all of a sudden you want you want some cookies or some gingerbread. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also got three that aren't fall scented, but they really smelled good. I got um, honeysuckle bouquet. This thing has the worst time focusing. There we go. This one smells like honeysuckle. If you live in the south and you know what honeysuckle smells like, that's what it is. This one is Palm Beach. Your girl here is in desperate need of a beach vacation. And apparently I'm just gonna have to like 
I don't know, lay out in the yard and just hold this under my nose. Mm. It smells like the beach. Like, smells like suntan lotion and, I don't know, like salty air. Mm. It's a sandy shore vanilla and coconut. If you can't go to the beach, at least you can sit at home and smell it, right? Um, and the last one I got, I actually got two of the Palm Beach and um, two of the Roasted Pumpkin, but I gave my mom one of each of those. And the last one is Lemongrass Verbena. Verbena? However you say that. I always say Verbena. Is that right? I don't know. This is a good, like, lemony flavor. Flavor. <laughs> scent. A lemony scent. A little bit floral smelling. I guess that's the lemon. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it says lemongrass, verbena, and crushed spices. It smells really good. I would, I would say that the roasted pumpkin and the Palm Beach are definitely my favorite. Those are excellent. I highly recommend those. They smell so good. So, these two things are things that I have been wanting for a while, but didn't want to pay for. I don't go in Hobby Lobby a lot because I have a problem with self-control, believe it or not. <laughs> so, you know, if I go in there, I'm going to end up with like two bagfuls of things, all the things that I need but don't need. <laughs> Um, so I try to steer clear there, but I, like I said, I had a gift card and I knew that I wanted these two things in particular. So I went in and I got them. So the first one is this basket that you hang on the wall. It's got a hook on the back. It was originally $23.99. Oh, if you can see it. Uh, but they were on sale. Pretty sure it was 50% off. If it wasn't 50, it was 40, but I'm thinking that wall decor was 50% off, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got the big one, the Mac Daddy basket for the basket wall. This one was originally $29.99 and I already got dust on it. How have I had this in my house for like a few hours and I already got it dusty? Focus, Stephanie. Um, $29.99, 40% off at least, possibly $50. i am pretty sure it was $50. I don't know where my receipt is. Anyway, so if it was 50% off, like I think it was, this one was $15. And this one was $12. So these are, I'm going to hang them in my bedroom up here. So, actually, you probably have already saw those because I did my room tour, my bedroom room tour, and I already had these hanging up. So, there's that. Um, and one other thing that I have been looking for, I've been searching for one of these at the thrift stores. Um, I have a white pitcher on my kitchen um, island. And I got it, it was like a false graph. I don't know if you know what false graph is, but um, it, it's a very pretty picture, but it's not the shape that I want. I know, first world problems, but I, want, I wanted a, sh a picture with a wider mouth, and this is it. Now, granted, I prefer older things, antique, like well-worn and used. Oh, I was hearing an echo. <laughs> My husband's in there said, oh. <laughs> okay, um, what was I saying? Okay. A 
I wanted a pitcher with a wider mouth. Oh, I preferred to find one at a thrift store or a thrift, thrift, a thrift store <laughs> or the flea market, but I, I haven't ever found one yet. So I went ahead and got this one. So here are the few things that I got from the fall section. I didn't get much. I did get this little, um, what is this thing? Paddle. No. <laughs> And a cutting board, a little mini cutting board. I didn't, um, I wasn't thinking when I took all the tags off of everything. Well, not everything, because these still have the tags on them. I love these. I love them. When I say I love them, I mean I love them. It's the teal color with the little pumpkins and these were $9.99 and they were 40% off with the fall I bought two of these I'm gonna put them on my hutch this matching milk can I'm gonna put some stems in here and actually I might put this on my kitchen islander for fall and put my white pitch pitcher somewhere else this one oh this one doesn't do let's see if I can get too many to do it oh. <laughs> and then the, the last thing I got was this little pretty little check it towel and October on there no it does not say October it most definitely says grateful I was trying to read it backwards <laughs> I still don't know how I got October out of it but there you go that's me all right that wraps up my little Hobby Lobby haul I did use every penny of my gift card and a little cash so that's gonna be it for this video i just want to thank you for supporting my channel i'm still new here still learning still making mistakes still trying to figure it all out all the youtube things and all the life things and all the everything but <laughs> if you did enjoy this video and you think you would enjoy future videos then just give me a like a thumbs up and subscribe see you again soon